Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. Today's video is another slow cook and speed clean with me video where I throw dinner in the crock pot and get a whole bunch of stuff done around the house. Today's video is extra special because it's a collaboration with two of my very good friends here on YouTube, Kayla from The Unmodern Millennial and Taylor Elmore. If you guys don't know them yet, I highly suggest you go check them out when you're done with this video. They're very good friends of mine and they have awesome content on their channels. I'll make sure to have both of their channels linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button and let's get to the video. For tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making some crock pot French dip sandwiches. I have a beef chuck shoulder roast that I'm going to trim some of the fat off of and then I'm going to get this browned in my skillet. I season my roast on both sides with some salt and pepper, and then I'm going to get my skillet going over medium-high heat with some butter and olive oil. Now that my pan is hot, I'm going to get my roast browned on all sides. So into my crock pot, I'm going to put a can of beef consomme, and then I'm going to add in one can of water. Next, I'm going to add in a dash of Worcestershire sauce and start adding in my seasonings. I didn't really measure any of these, but I probably used between one half and one teaspoon of each. And of course, you can adjust these seasonings to your taste. So into my beef consomme, I'm adding in some onion powder, some garlic powder, some seasoned salt, some Tony's Creole seasoning, and some dried parsley. I'm just going to get these all mixed up into my consomme and then add in my beef roast. Then we'll just put the lid on this and cook this on high for five to six hours. We've got somebody's birthday coming up, huh? How old are you gonna be? Five. Five? Are you excited? Are you gonna start kindergarten? Did you find bubbles? Bubbles! Yeah, take them with you. Don't drive the dog nuts, so. That's a lot of bubbles. <laughs> Can you get them all? Uh oh, you broke your thingy. Uh oh, <laughs> you're falling apart. <laughs> go, go. So I did have an entire before clip of what the schoolroom looked like before I got started today, but I had an issue with the footage, so I had to get rid of that. 
but this room was just a mess from all the things that need to be donated and things the boys just throw in here and it was a mess. So we're just gonna get that all cleaned up so that we can get a fresh start on summer and we don't have to worry about the mess in the schoolroom. So I have a box going for trash, and I also have a box that I'm putting some donations in. I got the boys a new curtain for their bedroom, so I'm going to donate their old ones. I also have some clothes and random things to throw in there. So once I get all that in boxes and out of the way, I'm going to get this room cleaned up. My pile of things I need to mend is steadily growing and I never get around to fixing them. But this time I need to get started. This is Garrett's baby blanket that I made him out of all of his receiving blankets and it ended up with a hole in it so I need to get that fixed as well as Tucker's Paw Patrol pillow and some various stuffed animals that have gotten torn over time. So I'm going to make a big mending pile on my sewing table and then get rid of some more of these Goodwill donations. So this room never ends up picture perfect because there's always something going on in here and it's pretty much three rooms in one. But the space is clear, we can get in here and do what we need to do, and that's all that matters.
Now I'm just gonna get started on the kitchen. I need to unload the dishwasher and reload it. That way the kitchen is clean when I'm ready to finish up dinner. Stripey shrimp. Stripey shrimp? Yeah. Bring <laughs> it out. No. So I got down on the floor to clean up the marble mess from the boys, and every time I get down to his level, Angus insists on playing. He will not leave me alone until I toss him those rings. He just loves to play, so he'll shove them in my face until I pay attention and throw them a couple times for him. When my roast was all done and super tender, I just shredded the meat up, and then I'm going to add in my packet of au jus gravy mix.
So I let my roast cook in the au jus gravy for about another hour. And then I took out at least a cup of the gravy and put it in a pan on the stove to keep it warm so that we could dip our sandwiches. Finally, I added on a whole bunch of provolone cheese, and then I just put the lid on and put this on warm for about 20 minutes until all the cheese was super melty. I'm just melting some butter in my pan to cook my onions. Of course, you could have thrown these in with your roast if you like, but I'm the only one in the house that wants them on my sandwich, so I just cook them separately. So to put these together, I'm just using some sub rolls that I got from the bakery at my HEB. And I'm just gonna pile on our roast and melty cheese, then add on those caramelized onions. And these were so delicious. The whole family loved these and they were so good. They reminded me so much of the French dips my mom made when I was growing up. If you haven't tried a French dip this way, you should definitely try it out because I promise you won't be disappointed. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to go check out Kayla and Taylor's videos. I'll have them linked down below. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications and we'll see you guys in the next one.